Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to discuss uh, the new formula charts that have uh, come up on Go Charting. It's, it's a great feature. We'll just discuss as to how we can go on and implement this uh, on firstly the basic charts that is the relative strength you want to know for example uh, let's consider reliance and then we'll delve deep into the options where you can use it for straddles triangles and iron condos as well so uh, it depends how you want to use it so uh, this i have a nifty spot chart on so the basic the first step that we can do is have a uh, relative chart or a formula chart for nifty uh, with respect to reliance so what i do is i type nifty you can see here spot nifty and then over here you'll see pop-ups okay so i have started with is equal to so you can straight away start with is equal to if you want to create a formula chart it is quite uh, similar to what you have on excel and then uh, if you want to divide you can press over here okay you can see the divide or you can straight away press the slash button and uh, give a space bar that is important and then let's go and see where if you have reliance here and uh, that's the reliance so you can see the spot and uh, the spot reliance uh, with respect to spot nifty and you just press enter so what you get is a uh, real i mean uh, you can call a relative chart or a formula chart and it's plotted here so you can have all types of time intervals here one minute two minutes three minutes or i mean daily whatever you uh, plan to choose okay so this is the behavior of reliance with respect to uh, nifty and uh, this is the most basic of options now let's go uh, dwell deeper into uh, the options which is quite famous and uh, quite popular because again it, it offers its own benefits so uh, let's consider uh, the latest uh, that is that happened on friday uh, let's consider the 21900c uh, straddle okay so let's go to uh, three minutes for now and we'll check uh, straddles and various ways that you can apply and check how the formulas work and derive your own strategies out of it so the first thing this is a 21900c option now i want to create a formula so the straddle formula generally that we all know is uh, is equal to 21900 i have typed and i've got a 21900ce and we do a plus as i said uh, for adding the premiums to calculate the straddle we give a space bar we again go 21900 and uh, we do a pe over here and this is the straddle that we have and we press enter so this is the straddle that we have now the good feature over here is uh, we also get volumes now i'll just tell you how to how you can use this although people might find it superfluous but it is as you know we, we really pay good attention to volume and this can give us real good clues not only in the cep charts but as well in the straddle charts and in uh, if you want the iron condos but the straddles and the strangles would give you a better uh, option this uh, per se would really help you in the straddle charts okay so uh, this is the basic straddle chart that we have now uh, what you can do is uh, wherever you have seen high volumes for example uh, this is the premium edition that you had so when the markets opened you saw a great good amount of uh, high volume now you see a real difference in volume because this is the first day of expiry so you see a very big amount of volume now what i'm going to do is uh, these highs and lows become real of real good significance to me that is this one and the other one is uh, please bear uh, with the marking this is what i had done for my other charts and the high and the low of the first two bars where i see good amount of volumes in fact the first four volumes now till the time the price stays inside i am quite comfortable with the straddle and uh, i mean you can try ahead and uh, pick a straddle in the middle of this or whenever the market starts or when you see something like on the second bar you can start and take your straddle position on the highs of the straddle okay and uh, the other thing that you can mark here is probably this one uh, where you see a sort of uh, and we just change the color of this and change it to black so this would be the stop loss if we i mean if you take a straddle somewhere here looking at the, or in the middle the stop loss if you take in the middle of course becomes the blue part okay why am i saying so because this is the volumes and i don't like if it's going to be a balanced day i would like it to be uh, staying inside in these high volume zones finally whenever it breaks that is your stop loss you take your hit and go it is uh, i think it will be about 30 40 points of your loss on this day and uh, similarly if you want to enter or shift whatever you got to do you can do it uh, i mean shift the styles that is again up to you i'm just letting you know when to square off this is the biggest concern that we have when we are playing straddles when to square off or when to give away one leg and go into and shift into the other leg this is one very good way of doing it and when you see this 
the bar preceding uh, the breakout bar there is again a good amount of volume I'll just mark it over here so you see this bar okay there's a big amount of volume here and uh, let me change it to black in color so you see the volumes that are just in this particular bar and uh, the bar that precedes the breakout and the next bar of course uh, breaks out with good amount of volume so this is your uh, place uh, where you have to get out and as soon as you find the price entering back again into this zone you can continue with your 21,900 straddle that is if you've shifted the straddle for example from 21,900 you've shifted to 22,000 and you square off this and when you see something like this this is again time to shift I, I understand it is a lot of orders but this is how it is when the market is trending and you are a non-directional player this is how you're supposed to play it okay and uh, what we then notice is I'll just delete this is uh, this goes down and if you had taken a straddle again over there somewhere here uh, you would see that you get a good amount of points about 30 40 or 50 points that you'd lost initially when when this broke out back to you and uh, it stays within the zone that we had marked okay so this is the time where you can uh, i mean think of squaring off positions this low or the zone below whenever you see these two three bars halting over here this is the zone where you can plan to take off your positions especially on a Friday this is not this is the first day of expiry and you can play straddles like this now I will uh, go ahead and do one more thing uh, that is what I will do is I will just go ahead and uh, let me get this uh, bar and uh, what you can do is I will just go ahead yeah so what I can do is I will go ahead and take a four chart format okay now uh, I can compare the volumes uh, this is a really cool feature that I like so uh, what you can do is uh, you can go here and select your 21,900 uh, CE over here okay and uh, you can have the 21,900 uh, I'm sorry for that let's go here and 21,900 PE over here okay so I have my straddle chart, my CE chart, my PE chart and the last thing I'm going to do over here is get the nifty spot. So over here as well, you can uh, confirm, uh, you can have the nifty futures as well if you want the volumes over here. But I, you can see and I have linked the, uh, I mean, the symbol, uh, this thing is synced for uh, the cursor. So wherever I see high volumes will be noticed and will be marked over here. So whenever I see high volumes somewhere here on uh, the straddle chart not over here somewhere here you can see uh, what was happening on the p chart over here uh, on the same time interval so i'll just contract this and just before the breakout you can see over here the volumes had picked up over here as well and if you look over here uh, on the c chart that is you can see the volumes picked up over here also so i'll just mark them so this is the area what we had uh, and this area over here was somewhere close over this one and on the C chart, it was this one, these breakout bars. So you can have all these together and you can have the footprint chart over here. You can have the uh, footprint chart of Nifty Futures if you like over here. And you can decide uh, what you want. You can have the market profile, volume profile, what you, whatever you want on the right side or right in corner over here. And you can plot your uh, stuff over here and even uh, detailed technical analysis and accordingly shift your straddle as and when you want. Now this is uh, one feature that you can use. I'll just uh, go back to the plane chart, okay? And now you can, I'll just delete all these drawings and let's discuss something else as well that we can do. So now what, what if you wanted to, uh, let's say, let's go back to the nifty chart spot. You wanted to check the expired contracts, you can do that as well. Uh, you go to the right hand side and you see a I mean circle with a cross these are the expired contracts you can go here check nifty and uh, you will get all the expired contracts over here now uh, for example this is the first february the previous expired contract let's consider 19800 so i would, would like that to be on my chart the first step i do is i go over here we see a basket uh, logo drawn here i just press it what it gives me is the buy and sell buttons over here I go and press sell because we're considering the straddle, sell again. So this is 19800 CE and PE straddle that I have. You can make any leg, okay? So iron condor or whatever you want and I add it to the chart. What I get is a straddle chart over here, okay? Uh, let's see. 
okay this is let me see okay sorry we consider 19,700 let's go back and I wanted to do 21,700 I'm so sorry for that so let's go here and let's do 21,800 21,800 C 800 P and now let's that add to the chart so this is the straddle chart of the expired contracts and you can go ahead and check the volume thing uh, I mean the volume uh, explanation that we just discussed the concept so this is a chart with high volume again you do the same thing I'll just take this off uh, take this off and you can mark those places where you see high volumes on the chart so this is one uh, one leg where I saw high volume and this is sort of a support so uh, I mean you can even buy a straddle over here again I wouldn't suggest that and the other one is the high over here okay and this is the area uh, that we want the market to stay in of course if it goes trending like this we shift our straddle and the place where we shift our straddle is somewhere here because again it is breaking out with volumes and uh, this is uh, i mean as soon as you enter here we shift our straddle back to the 21800 or we shift to 21900 and stay there and you can keep testing this so what you can do is you can have another tab and test the 21900 from the time it broke out and see how the straddle performed there okay and you can do that with all expired contracts of course you can have a nifty spot chart uh, for you to notice uh, where the nifty spot was uh, with respect to the expired contracts that is if you want to uh, say check for last week you will go to the nifty spot chart see what how the nifty spot was behaving at that time and then correspondingly uh, spot your charts like this now uh, the last thing that we can do is uh, you can go ahead and uh, let's go back to this place and what you can do is uh, the traditional way or the uh, true way is uh, of straddle is this you can also go ahead and uh, I mean do a division of sorts for example I will go and if you find it more convenient that is I will consider 21,900 C and I'll divide it uh, let's do it the, uh, or I divide it by let's go here divide it by uh, the PE so instead of the traditional uh, I'm sorry for that I go to 21,900 you can have this chart as well 21,900 P so this is the straddle uh, in the division mode so what you will get is uh, a simple chart like this okay so it is just divided and again uh, this might not give you too many insights but again it will just give you volume so this is I'm just uh, trying to bring out that you can do this also with whatever strategies you have and uh, you can plot it accordingly the other way you can do it is you have the nifty spot uh, with respect to the nifty futures or the nifty any option that you want to consider for example let's consider the 21900 c option you can have that with that and you can go ahead and plot your own stuff so you can see this is with respect to the nifty spot and uh, you can have it with respect to nifty futures and so on and keep plotting how you wish so hopefully uh, this video was of some assistance uh, if you are uh, interested in selling options and selling strategies and uh, until next time thank you guys bye bye